Welcome back to the Tiny Little Workshop. I'm Bill, and this week I'm going to be trying something I've never done before, which is using a telescope and a funnel and a piece of cloth to project an image of the sun so that I can share the solar eclipse on August 21st with more than just one person at a time. So my initial plan for the upcoming August 21st Eclipse was to use a welding helmet. Uh, they recommend at least a grade 12, I think it is, 12 or greater, so 12, 13, 14 or above, if you're going to be actually looking at the sun. But the problem with this is that only one person can view it at a time. Now you can buy a solar filter that'll go over the end of a telescope, but same thing, only one person can see it at a time. So a common thing to do is to project an image, and then I saw this week that NASA actually has a PDF, it'll be linked in the description, and it describes how to make a funnel that goes on here that projects an image onto a little screen from the eyepiece. Now this old telescope that was hanging out at my parents' house has been with us through many moves. It probably came from a department store in the 90s or something, it's not especially expensive. And it's a Newtonian reflector, so light enters here, it goes down to the bottom down here is a curved mirror that reflects the light back up to a secondary mirror that reflects the light out this direction toward your eye and you have different eyepieces and things like that that you can stick on here. So for this one it has a 700 millimeter focal length. The NASA document recommends it for this. I use a 17 millimeter eyepiece, plus or minus 10% within that range. The closest I have is a 23 millimeter. The other ones that it came with are a two and a half and a five. So we'll see how close I can get to actually projecting a decently bright image. Now, one warning when using this type of telescope, the reflector like this, is that it can let too much light in, so it concentrates the light of the sun up onto your secondary mirror, and it can cause damage on the secondary mirror. So their recommendation is to put a piece of cardboard on the end to stop down the aperture. You cut a hole about one to two inches in that piece of cardboard so it doesn't let the full light of the sun in and damage your secondary mirror. So I am going to use the cap, and I'm going to trace this and use a hole saw in the drill press, drill a hole in there, you offset it off to one side is their recommendation, and we'll see how far I can get. Now as far as the funnel material that's gonna go on the eyepiece, I've decided, well, I pulled out of the garbage uh, a big container that had a bunch of discarded vinyl signs in them, and they're fairly thick vinyl. So I'm going to use that rather than cut up one of my nice automotive funnels and I'm gonna form that into this uh, funnel that comes off of here. And for the screen, the fabric they recommend, rear projection fabric, I have some white sheet. So we'll see how far I can get. Who knows if this will actually work or not. I'm going to find out along with you. And if it does work, I'll be using it on August 21st with my coworkers and I'm gonna show them how this goes and hopefully take a time lapse of this whole thing progressing, the whole eclipse, the moon covering the sun and waning back off again. First up is the aperture ring. I trace the cap onto a piece of scrap plywood. Using a scroll saw, I cut out the circle. Next up was just a little cleanup on the belt sander jig that I made in a previous video. And then I used a terribly, terribly dull two inch hole saw bit to make a two inch hole.
After a little hand sanding to smooth over the edges, it fits snugly. Now here's the container full of vinyl signage that I dumpster dove for. I first marked a 12 inch arc and then a 2 inch arc. So after trimming, this gave me a 10 inch long cone. I wound up eventually using some duct tape and a hose clamp to secure this directly to the eyepiece. After plenty of trial and error, I finally figured out how to aim it directly at the sun and then set about dialing in the focus until this nice little row of sunspots appeared. So there you go, it actually worked. I thought maybe there was a 50-50 chance of this working, but I actually got it to focus and I saw the sun. It looked to me like there were some sunspots. So it was exciting. Uh, this cost me nothing. I had a sheet. Uh, the telescope was hanging out at my parents' house. I cut a piece of plywood that was already laying around. What I'm planning to do though are a few just little tweaks to see if I can get the accuracy better. This has got a, re well, this is a really cheap telescope in the first place, and it's got a terrible uh, location system and stability issues, so I might play with that before August 21st. But yeah, I'm going to take this to work, and my coworkers and I will be able to see the eclipse as it's happening without the need for eclipse glasses or a welding helmet or any other sort of specialty thing. So thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.